Of all rectangles with a perimeter of 27, which one has the maximum area? Well, here's what a rectangle looks like. Let's call this width here x and this length y. And we're told that the perimeter of this rectangle is 27. So the perimeter of this rectangle is 2x's plus 2y's. And we know that that has to add up to 27. So we'll probably use that fact here in a second. Ultimately, though, we're asked to find what rectangle has maximum area. So if we're going to maximize an area function, we need an equation for area. And the area of a rectangle is just this length times width, or in our case, x times y. Now we've been doing some maximizing and minimizing of functions, so that's good news, but all the functions that we've maximized or minimized are functions of one variable. However, this here has two variables, so right now we don't know how to maximize this. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to use this equation down here to eliminate one of our variables in this area equation up here. The way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to solve this perimeter equation for y. I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides, and then I'm going to divide every everything by 2. I'll just leave 27 halves as it is. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this y, which is now negative x plus 27 halves, and I'm going to plug it in to this equation for y right here. That is going to give me a equals x times negative x plus 27 halves. Now notice that this equation for area is a function of just one variable, x. So we could call this a of x. If we want to simplify this a little bit, it's negative x squared plus 27 halves x and it is our job to maximize this area function. The way that we maximize any function is we take its first derivative and find its critical points. The first derivative of our function is negative 2x plus 27 halves. That first derivative exists everywhere, so the question we want to ask is where is this first derivative equal to 0? And solving this is going to give us our critical point. I'm going to add 2x to both sides, and I'm going to divide both sides of this equation by 2 to get that x equals 27 fourths. And this here is our critical point. And presumably this critical point gives us the x value, that's the dimension, the width of this rectangle that will maximize our area. If we draw a new picture of what this rectangle looks like, this side x is going to be 27 fourths long. This side is going to be 27 fourths long. We could plug this x equals 27 fourths into this equation here, solve for y, and we'll find that y equals 27 fourths as well. And I think this makes sense because 27 fourths added up four times is just going to give us the perimeter that we want of 27. But the question we might be asking is how do we know that this is a max maximum area and not a minimum area for this rectangle? Well, there are several ways to answer this question. The simplest way to answer this question is probably by the second derivative test. If we take a second derivative of our area function, we look up here at our first derivative, our second derivative is just going to be negative 2. Because this is negative, the second derivative test says that this critical point represents a maximum. So okay, I think that that answers the question. If we want to maximize a rectangle that has a perimeter of 27, we make it into a square. In each side, is going to be 27 fourths units long. All right, we're going to do another application problem in the next video, so I will see you there.